I never in my wildest dreams fathomed that it would be as successful as what it was on the first time. I literally pinched myself as I look at the crowd of 10,000 or so people saying this is a year one event. It felt like what, year five, ten? Well, it looked like a seasoned concert, right? It's just incredible to see how that meshing of uh, talent and individuals and and spirit and excitement just plays out. So Rob, what is it like operationally to deliver a show like Live Fest? When this all got started, we had to go to the GM of the golf club and explain, hey, we'd like to build a concert venue on your driving range. He first looked at us with, what are you trying to do? But as we worked through it, and realized it's good for everyone here. We've been doing things the right way for a long time. We take care of the property. It just eases everyone over. For me, it's all about giving back to the community some way, shape, or form. And when you came up with that idea, I thought, wow, you got Okay, this is giving back to some way. We've got a great lineup with Ben Allen Band, followed by Runaway June, and then we have Cole Swindell, and then we have Mr. Thomas Rhett, who is the number one American Country Music Male Artist of the Year for this year. So there's a lot of expectation out there. Cine Vista has been a great partner of the event and, and has captured a lot of this and works very closely with the golf club. The stuff that they did for Live Fest is top-notch stuff. Our founder and executive uh, producer was a little excited about this, and he put up a banner at the main entrance to the golf tournament. I saw the Live Fest sign that was outside. And I was like, what does that mean? And I reached out to Rob and I just introduced myself. You know, I run most of the uh, local events for iHeart locally here in Southwest Florida. And I was like, how can we get involved? This sounds really exciting. And they've been the most important media partner in this event. You set the bar high for the first Live Fest. Lady Annabellum and Darius Rucker, two of the top, you know, country acts in the entire world. It was difficult to, uh, to follow that up and the 10,000 plus people that came to Live Fest are expecting the same type of entertainment. So, you know, we had to deliver on that. And I believe we have with this lineup. It's a really complete, full lineup filled with a lot of hits and some pretty groundbreaking artists. Our hats off to iHeartRadio. They've been a fantastic media partner from the beginning, and we're very grateful to have them. Don't miss Live Fest. It's going to be one heck of a show.